Welcome back everyone, it is Eric from Candy, and today we're going to be breaking down my current deck list for the brand new United Wings deck that the new Paldea Evolve set is going to be giving us. So players who are familiar with the old Night March deck, or maybe a little bit more recently the Mad Party deck, are definitely going to feel right at home with a deck like this, since it is a very similar deck in terms of its core strategy. But by the end of this video, if you're still hungry for some more United Wings content, I actually did drop a bonus deck list with a different engine over on Patreon. So if you guys want some bonus content and help support the channel, I will have that link down below in the description. But just one more plug before we hop into the list. If you guys need any Paldea Evolve cards for yourselves, friends of the channel over at FlipsideGaming.com are still taking pre-orders on sealed product. Use coupon code RAREcandy for 10% off, plus you'll get free shipping. But if Flipside is out of stock by the time you find this video, you can also use my affiliate link with TCG Player. They'll show you all of the next cheapest listings online, and it really does help support the channel. I'll have links to all these today down below in the description. But without the way, let's check out this deck list. So we have our first of these United Wings Pokemon, and that's going to be Murkrow. This along with a couple of other Pokemon in the deck all have this United Wings attack that does 20 times the amount of Pokemon in our discard pile with the United Wings attack. So you guys can figure out the strategy here. We're just trying to chuck these things away with cards like Research and Ultra Ball. And Murkrow, I would say, is probably even our best of these attackers just because being a dark Pokemon means we can hit popular Pokemon like Mew v Max and Gardevoir EX for weakness. And also it only attacks for a single energy, whereas the other ones, as you'll see, do have a slightly heavier attack cost. But our next Pokemon is going to be four copies of Watril. Again, has that same United Wings attack, but this one does have a slightly heavier attack cost for two colorless energy instead of just the one on Murkrow. But that being said, Watril still not a bad card because we can use double turbo to power this thing up. And being a lightning type is actually good because we can more easily one shot cards like Lugia V-Star, Origin Palky V-Star, and Luminion V. And our final of these different United Wings Pokemon is going to be four copies of Flamigo. It's not really our best attacker out of the three since it doesn't really hit anything for weakness, but Flamigo has a really great ability for this deck where whenever you bench it from hand, you can search your deck for three other Flamigos and put them into your hand, which means we can play it down, search out three more, and then research the others away or discard them with an Ultra Ball or similar discarding effect. But moving on from there, we have three copies of Ditto, which actually in a way is our best attacker of the deck because you can copy the attacks of any of your basic non rule box Pokemon in your discard pile. So what this means is instead of having some of these United Wings Pokemon on our field, reducing our max damage cap, we can keep them safely in the discard pile to fuel our attacks with Ditto instead. Ditto also does help address one of the deck's issues where you have two different types of energy you're using to attack with. And if you don't have the necessary energy to attack with a Murkrow, you can still copy the attack with Watril or Flamigo instead if that's the energy you have access to, or vice versa, of course. But from there, we also have a 3-3 Kroia line. And this card definitely fills a similar role as like the Poltegeist did back from the Mad Party deck. And that's because of this refinement ability where we can discard a card from our hand, hopefully of course being a United Wings Pokemon, and then drawing two cards. But speaking of ways at drawing cards, we also have one copy of the brand new Squawkabilly EX in the deck. So we can only use its ability on the first turn of the game, but we can discard our hand and draw six. So if we do have a bit of a dead hand, we can play something like an Ultra Ball or a Nest Ball, get this thing down and bail us out of that hand. But also it can really help you have these more explosive turn ones where you can discard some of these United Wings Pokemon in the process. We have a copy of Manaphy to protect our bench Pokemon from sniping attacks, most notably from decks that are playing something like Radiant Greninja. And our final Pokemon of the list is going to be kind of an interesting one. It's going to look kind of odd at a glance here, but we're playing one copy of Psychozar. So to be honest, we're probably actually not going to attack with this card very often, though I will point out Touring does allow you to draw two cards, so sometimes you can fall back on that. But really, we're playing this card for two bigger reasons. The first one is that it has free retreat. So in between turns where we need to promote something into the active spot, we can actually just promote Psychozar, and then depending on what energy we draw in our turn, we can from there retreat into our attacker of choice. And also, as you'll see, we do play a Collapse Stadium in the deck as well, so we really just want to make sure that we can fill our bench with as many non-United Wings Pokemon as possible before we play it down and get that discarding effect. But let's get into our trainer cards here. We have four copies of Research in the deck. Obviously, best draw supporter we could play for a deck like this, since we discard our hand and draw seven. Just allows us to turbo through our deck and, of course, discard our United Wings Pokemon in the process. So up next, we do have two copies of Serena. In the early game, we can use this for its discarding effect to draw cards and pitch away our United Wings Pokemon. But in the mid to late game, we can pivot a little bit and use it more for that gusting effect on Pokemon V. 
And speaking of gusting options, we also have two copies of Boss's Orders to round out our supporter cards. So one thing I've definitely noticed with this deck, it's very reliant on taking cheap prizes on your opponent's Pokemon. So being able to have plenty of gusting options to take down Pokemon like Squawk Abilities or the Minions that are sitting on the bench is pretty big. And for our Stadium card in the deck, like I mentioned, we do have a copy of Collapse Stadium. So of course it forces both players to discard until they have four bench Pokemon remaining. And this does serve a couple of different uses for our deck. We can use it to discard some of the United Wings Pokemon, but also for the games where we do use Squawk Ability EX, this allows us a way to discard that from play and force our opponent into taking six individual knockouts. But taking a look at our Pokemon search options, we definitely have a lot here. We have four copies of Ultra Ball up first, which is probably our best one for the deck, just because we do have to discard two cards from our hand in order to play it, which means this is gonna be another out to discarding our United Wings Pokemon. But from there, we also do have four copies of Level Ball to find any Pokemon with 90 HP or less and put them into our hand. And really outside of only a few Pokemon, most of this deck is gonna be Level Ball searchable, or most of the key cards, I should say. But we also do have two copies of Nest Ball in the deck as well. It's not our best Pokemon search card just because we kind of prefer cards that put the Pokemon directly into our hand, but there's still enough basics here that we immediately just want slapped onto the bench, like Ditto, like Ralts, etc. So I think justify a few copies of this card still being in the list. And to round out our ball search cards, we have two copies of Hisuian Heavy Ball, which might look like a little bit of a heavy count of the card, no pun intended, of course. But because of how many Pokemon that we have in this deck, every game you're prizing one to two Pokemon on average. And being able to just search our prizes for a basic Pokemon and replace it with this is also pretty important just in general because for every Pokemon that's not in our discard pile and hiding in the prizes, that's gonna be another 20 less damage that we're doing every turn. From there, we have two copies of Trekking Shoes, just a way to help dig through our deck just a little bit more here. We get to look at the top card of our deck. We can choose to keep it, or of course, we can also choose to just discard it and draw one more. So admittedly, it would be nice to have even like just one more copy of this card in the deck, but because we do have the Kroia line in the deck as well, I think that sort of makes up for that a little bit. Next up, two copies of Escape Rope, just to give our deck some switching options. I think Escape Rope's probably a little bit better than something like Switch or Switch Cart, because it does force your opponent to switch as well. And because we have the Cyclozar in the deck too, it forcing us to switch is rarely gonna be disruptive. Up next, we have a copy of Pow Pad in the deck. So of course we get two supporters from our discard pile, shuffle them back in. As you can see, we don't play a very high count of physical supporters in the deck, but as I've mentioned a few times, this deck really does like taking cheap prizes, especially on bench sitting multi-prize Pokemon like Squawk Abilities, Luminion, etc. So I really do like the Pal Pad at being able to stack our deck full of additional copies of Boss or Serena in the late game to make sure we can close out a game. We have a copy of Rescue Carrier, which might look a little bit weird since we are a deck that's largely based around trying to keep things in the discard pile, but Rescue Carrier gets us two Pokemon with 90 HP or less and puts them back into our hand. And there still are Pokemon we do want to recycle. So if our opponent's chasing down our Manaphy, we can use that to get that back, or if we have to research away some Curlias in the early game, easy way of getting those back, etc. And for our final trainer card, we also have one copy of Super Odd to round out our recovery options. So even though we do want to keep our United Wings Pokemon in the discard pile, again, we still want to get some of these other Pokemon back like I just mentioned, but also Super Odd does give us the flexibility of getting some of our basic dark energy back into our deck. But for our energy cards, we have three copies of double turbo energy in the list. Like I mentioned earlier, Murkrow is usually sort of our primary Pokemon we're gonna be using to attack. But because our Watchroll does hit so many popular Pokemon for weakness, we definitely want a way to be able to attack with that in the matchups where it's useful. And then of course from there, just five copies of basic dark energy. So between the ones that we have right here and the super odd, we should have plenty of energy in the deck to be able to close out a game with. But that's where I'm gonna be at right now with the United Wings deck. I will say if you're going to play this, I think you just have to upfront know that you're going to take a hard L to Lost Box. But if you can manage to dodge that matchup, the deck does not seem that bad going into some of its multi-prize matchups just because it is largely a single prize deck and it does hit a lot of different decks in the format for weakness right now. But with that being said, I am still curious. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you think this deck is going to revive the old Night March glory days? Or do you think this deck is kind of a meme for the moment? Let me know your full thoughts down below in the comment section. But if you did enjoy today's content as always remember to leave a like on the video or if you're feeling maybe a little extra generous you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com but as always thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time